see if he can make his way through this field. Caden Honeycutt said it's about to get good. I'm sure our in-race reporter knows what he's talking about. Gray to Benedetto on the front row. Look at that move by Logano. We talked about how strong he is on these restarts. Already to the outside. Honeycutt going with him. That's a great plan. Brett Holmes hanging well. Yeah, top three trucks as we talked about stayed out. They were solid on the restart. Matty D on point. Talked to a lot of the crew chiefs. Said, they said last year the tires really didn't fall off much. But again, such a different tire, polar opposite tire here with a radio versus a bias play. They really didn't know how much they would fall off here. Looks like right now Matty D saying these tires are pretty good. Yeah. Seeing him out front here takes me back to the, the, the cup race. Was it like 2016 when he nearly won here driving for Levine? That was a, a magical night. Look at this battle inside the top 10. They're three wide. Haley Deegan hanging in there with Crafton. And then this battle up front. Give Holmes the second spot in that 32 truck. Yeah, Joey hasn't been able to dispatch with any of the three trucks that stayed out. Trying to work his way underneath Tanner Gray. He had about a half a truck width that time. And he fit a hole in there. Now he's going to run into him. Well, you know who's spotting for Tanner Gray. It's Coleman Presley, who is Joey's <laughs> spotter tomorrow. Three wide, and there's a spinner, Christian Eckes, in the 19. Oh, he's, fortunately, everybody made his made their way around him. There's the caution. Yep. Took a minute, but we finally get our fourth caution of the night. Left rear tire down on Eckes' truck. We have seen a ton of left rear tires go down. I think it could be just the tires a little bit wider and with all the bounce and the and the way the truck moves around in this in this Tennessee clay. Or if somebody gets into your or left. Somebody rear, runs into you. That might have something to do with it as well. Both of them will do it. And that's what happened that time. Ben Rhodes just scraped the side of the 19 and blew his tire out. Rhodes from 18th to 16th on the restart. Nice job by Jonathan Davenport, just squeezing around the outside. And there our in-race reporter Daniel Dye drove around the outside of Eckes when he turned around. Daniel Dye is working for Fox Nation. See, there's Daniel going Look by how right now. Look close that was. Mm. This, is this, this is the move that started it all. And that's just short track racing. It doesn't matter if it's dirt or asphalt. You're gonna have that kind of competition. Watch what Daniel Dye saw. This is going to be eye-opening, I guarantee you. Remember I said you couldn't change directions in a hurry? Whoa. <laughs> I love how we just eased into the brake because there's a lot of rear brake in these trucks. If you stomp on the brake, the rear wheels are going to slide up, and his truck would have turned around. He really did a nice job of modulating that brake.